James Bond. James Bond. I'm Alice Frankham and I'm playing Rachel Crabb. I'm George Kemp and I play Stanley Stubbers. Indeed. <laughs> I did that in character. And I did, you did. Um, Rachel, uh, now, she... No, oh, this is going to get complicated, isn't it? So, Rachel has a twin brother called Roscoe Crabb. Rachel, at the beginning of the play, is in disguise as Roscoe. And um, Rachel and Roscoe, I suppose you could say, are sort of based on the Cray twins. So they're EastEnders and... Uh, Oh, blimey. I don't want to give too much away, but she's, she's incognito. How about Stanley? Stanley's also incognito. He's the other of Francis's governors, and he's a sort of posh <laughs> twit. <laughs> um, uh, yeah, and he's, he's lying low down in Brighton as well, because... Um, yes, why, why are we both lying low? So, um, we're engaged, uh, Rachel and Stanley, yeah. and we are on the run. There's been a murder. There has. And that's as much as we can say. Impossible. There's too many. It, we, we are howling every day. I couldn't... I mean, you nearly pulled my trousers down. Well, yeah, I mean... That, that was quite funny. In rehearsal, yeah. Um, yeah, sorry. <laughs> um, no, TJ Holmes, who plays Alfie, has got some fantastic bits. He's always got us in stitches. Yeah, so got a bit Charlie Chaplin. Yeah, our favourite moments mostly involve him. And just, yeah, just corpsing and laughing at each other. We're going to have to, I'm glad we're going to be doing a lot of runs of it because we're going to have to get used to the jokes ourselves because yeah. they still yeah. find the play really funny. So yeah. that's the struggle. Well, as I mentioned, uh, Roscoe and Rachel are loosely based on the Cray twins. So I've been watching a few videos about them. I think Roscoe, who I am in disguise as, is loosely based on Ronnie Cray. Um, so I've been trying to bring a little bit of that danger and that East End gangster thing. And I, I did realise the other day that I've sort of accidentally used um, Kathy Burke as Perry and Kevin and Perry, um, <laughs> which probably isn't right. <laughs> Might have to iron that out by opening night. But yeah, a bit of, uh, bit of this. You know, I mean, you yeah, know. I do. Uh, yeah, I've also been using Kathy Burke as Perry. And Kevin <laughs> Perry. Same character. No, uh, who, who have I been using? I don't know. Just sort of posh people. Anything, <laughs> <laughs> anything you grant of Colin Firth does, yep. basically. A lot of sort of silly things, you know, lots of comedy from, you know, that period as well that's quite large, you know, lots of Monty Python and things like Faulty Towers are really great because the style is so. Is, yeah. is very similar. There's it's, a bit of the Basil Forty about Stanley. There is, it's like a nice Basil Forty. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> nice. Funnily enough, I said to you in the pub the other day you have a little bit of the Matt Smith about you. I do get I did get mistaken for Matt Smith a yes. lot when he was Doctor Who. And Doctor Who and, and then he's um Prince Philip in the crown as well. Yes. There's another reference. Yeah. yeah. I get I get all sorts of people. I think I'm a bit of an identity. Of, uh, <laughs> of just a tall man. I think there's I get, I get all sorts of things. I used to get Jim Carrey, Jamie Dornan, all sorts of weird stuff. I think it depends on the angle you're standing at. <laughs> Do you get the same thing? I don't. No, I used to. Someone not. You look like somebody who took my wife once. <laughs> oh, cheers. Um, yeah, no. Oh, I once got. This is a very long time ago. I've aged since then. Charlotte from Sex in the City. <laughs> That's very flattering. That's not bad. Um, I think my face was sort of drooped by this. Yeah, you look yeah. terrible. Oh, thanks, I know. Being a bit of a James Bond I key. I do an impersonation. Of Piers Brosnan. I do do a Piers Brosnan, yeah. He does. Am I going to do it? Well, are you? Am I? <laughs> the name's Bond. James Bond. There you are. It's good, There's it's Piers good. Brosnan. Yeah. Uh, can you do anyone? Um, I can only do singing impressions. Oh! Oh, I'm really set myself up there. <laughs> <laughs> yes, you have. Um, I can do Dolly Parton. Yeah, let's hear Dolly Parton. Oh, no. <clears throat> oh, no. Jolene, 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 Jolene. I'm begging you, please don't take my name. That was very really nice. I never heard that. Very good. It's getting cut. Oh, God. I think farce-wise, I mean, One Man, Two Governors is is up there, I think, mm -hmm. of the last ten years. It's a properly brilliant farce. I, 
I think Noises Off is a classic as well. I remember seeing Noises Off in the theatre and just uh, make, making me a bit ill. I was yeah. laughing so much. Was, yeah, that's an incredible piece of work. Yeah. yeah. Same. I mean, I know it's a bit it's a bit teacher's pet, but One Man, Two Goblins as well. <laughs> yeah. When I saw it on the West End, yeah. I was... And I... Because it, I was expecting it to be slapstick, and I thought this would be one for my dad. And, but I was shrieking, because it's just... It's, there's something a bit more unexpected. It's yes. not formulaic, like the normal kind of farce. Like it's, yeah, it's a bit more... And it just keeps coming as well. That's the that's the exciting thing about rehearsing it is getting you know the pace of it and the way everything just piles on. And the central character Francis, we you know we're his governors and we just are constantly on him. Yeah. And it builds to the point of it just exploding. It's it's a it's a beautiful piece of writing. Yes. Yes. It is. Come and see it.